Uh, could it be true, Megan, that your noticeable absence from Harry's book tour is a sign that you wish to distance yourself from the fallout? What do you mean? You've got no proof of that. Well, like I said, she's explicitly absent from the media tour. Look, she's giving me my freedom, okay? She's giving me my, my moment, allowing me to have my moment. You know, and besides, you know, who was it who actually wrote the book? Right, yes, um, Megan's allowing you to reap your own thunder, so to speak. No, no, no I'm actually asking her, uh, who did write the book? I want to say Rick. Well, uh, a Daily Telegraph source. Uh, Megan sued them. Now, that was the Daily Mail. Oh, right. Carry on. Alleging that Megan may have raised possible concerns about whether it was the right move. And also that you, Megan, were more wary than the Duke <laughs> uh, about the subject. You know, I, I'm not really involved in, in this book, you know. Harry gets the plaudits and he also gets the criticisms, you know. Same as it would be if I wrote a book, you know. What? You told me to write it. No, I encouraged you to do whatever your heart told you to do. Yeah, but you told me what my heart was telling me to do. Remember? Look, like I said, Harry, it's, it's complicated, you know? We'll talk to Kevin when we get home. It's Kevin with a C, spelled with a C. Well, you know, certainly Kevin does seem to sort everything out, but I'm still sure that you told me to write it. And you definitely said that you'd be with me through this, you know, thick and thin. Yeah, I, I am. Kinda. Well, without wanting to throw further fuel on this fire, but it does appear, Megan, that you gauged the negative reaction to Harry's book, Spare, and then decided to prematurely jump ship so as to not be stained by its uh, toxic contents. What toxic content? Well, um, it would include, but not limited to, the inconsistencies, the bitter vitriol, the embarrassing Freudianisms, and the endangerment of yourself, your immediate family, and every British serviceman home and abroad, after your abhorrent and criminally stupid comments about taking enemy fighters out as though they were chess pieces. Oh, yeah. Now, all I want to say is, I didn't say that, you know? They weren't my words. You know, I might have chosen my words a little bit more carefully. That's all. Yeah, but you encouraged me to write those exact words. We'll deal with the backlash together, you said. Yeah, but I didn't realize that the backlash was going to be so lashy. I mean, this is more like whiplash. But, but, but you said that you'd stand by me, that, that you'd never abandon your husband. Yeah, I know, I know, but... I said that to my last husband, too, so you've only got yourself to blame. Anyway, snap out of that. I specifically and explicitly said that she was not an evil stepmother. Well, you were 21 years old, and moreover, nobody said she was. But just saying, okay, I have a huge amount of compassion for her. See, even that statement feels soured by the smug froth of stupidity bubbling away in the cauldron of anger. It's almost like you're forgiving her for not being as good a person as she could have been, like she's an unwitting participant in the folly of her own villainy. Uh, that was the video, and if you'd be kind enough to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, it would be much appreciated.